guys, it's Ian. Welcome back to my show, where I learn all about the world of adults. So today, we're learning all about hipsters. One of the trends I heard adults do is being a hipster. From what I know, hipsters are on the top of what's cool. Let's see how cool they really are. So I made it to downtown LA today, and today I'm gonna be learning about hipster culture with my good friend, Will. There he is now. Ian. I don't see you, but I see you. And that's lesson number one. How you okay. doing, man? I'm good, I'm good. That's nice good? To meet you. Good? Okay, we'll work on that. Are you ready to learn what it means to be a hipster today? Yeah. Okay, cool. How'd you get here, okay? On a motorcycle, bike, um, did you walk? Oh, my dad dropped me off. That's perfect. That's the most hipster way of transportation. My parents still take care of me too, and I'm 35, so. So, well, how long have you been a hipster for? That's a great question. Uh, well, my first baby pictures, I was born with skinny jeans on, so I'd say as long as I can remember. Ian, I gotta ask, so what do you think hipster means? Hmm. Well, I think a hipster is like someone that follows the trends or makes the trends. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Do you follow the trends? Yeah. Okay, okay, that's part of it. But do you sometimes feel like you wanna not follow the trends? Well, well, yeah. See, that's hipster too. So first things first, you gotta dress the part. So did you bring any hipster clothing by chance? Yes, I did. So, how do I look? Wow, well, let me take a look. Skinny jeans, it's pretty cool. The wraparound flannel, not practical, even cooler. What is this? Okay, ironic sweatshirt, I like it. Mustaches don't grow tacos, it's perfect. And what's the last thing? The glasses, that looks great. That is en point, that's French, I'll teach you later. But you look good, how do you feel? I feel good. Yeah? Yeah. You look good, you feel good, that's part of being a hipster. It looks like you're all dressed, and it looks like we are ready to go to our next hipster activity. And I noticed that you don't have anything in your hands. Let's change that. Every hipster needs coffee. All right, let's go get some. Okay, good, so we have our coffee, but we're not quite there yet. Right now, this is not hipster enough. What we need is, and I always carry these, and you should always carry three to four to five always, our mason jars. Now, all we have to do, I'm gonna recycle that, don't worry. I'm gonna pour myself some coffee. Don't worry, the spillage is cool. I'm gonna pour myself some too. Oh my God, it's leaking. That's okay, that's cool. And we're gonna cheers to it. <laughs> oh wow, this is so good. Right? It's even better on your feet. I can taste the difference. Good. What do you wanna put in a mason jar? Small cactus. That's perfect. Hey, what do you say we go try some more coffee places? Sure. Let's do it. Okay, Ian, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some hipster shopping, right? And the things that hipsters love the most is anything minimal. If it's more than minimal, three or four, not cool. One to two, really cool. So what do you got there? Uh, I think this is the ceramic steamer. Right, it's a ceramic mason jar. That's what makes it cool. Everything is a mason jar if you think about it. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. It could fit in the mason jar too. What do you think about this bag here? Reusable bag. Reusable, good, green. Think it could fit inside a mason jar? Uh. The answer is we can try. The more boring and unsophisticated, the cooler. So for example, this hat here, pretty cool, huh? Uh, I don't think it's a hat. This is a lesson of its own right here. These are what we call uh, motion tablets or moleskin journals, and then we use these bad boys to put in all our, you know, you know thoughts and, and artistic uh, feelings all on paper right here. This looks like the earring my grandma used to wear between her toes. She's pretty hipster. She's where I learned everything. That was a lot of fun. What's next? Well, the next hipster activity that all hipsters love to do is take photos of everything they do, eat, sleep, 
dance, drink. And so in order for us to do that well, I hired a professional photographer to follow us all around Arts District and take pictures of us. Sound pretty cool, right? Yeah. So I brought in Sophia, who obviously has all the best equipment, who's going to take pictures of us to make us look cool, even cooler than we already are. What do you think? Yeah. You got everything? I'm ready. Perfect. I wish I could be like this all the time, but these glasses are a little, yeah, a little. The day is coming to a close, but Will's going to teach me one more thing. That's right. All right, the last thing about being a hipster is that hipsters love music and all the art and culture that surrounds it. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to teach you how to play an instrument. You got one on you? That's okay. I actually carry one. This is called a ukulele, or a ukulele. It's an ancient artifact, but I'm gonna teach you how to use it. In fact, I even set you up for a musical performance that you'll be performing in tonight. So you're gonna need this. Wait, what? Music, performance, <laughs> I set you up. It's gonna be fine, don't worry, it's gonna be really cool. I think there's gonna be tons of people, animals, creatures, emotions, they'll all be there. I think some mason jars even made the concert, so. It's gonna be good. You ready? You up for it? Cool. You wanna hold it here, because that's hold it close to your heart, and that's where the music comes from. And now, onto tonight's special performance, singing Bonnie Bear's Skinny Love. And let's be honest, we all love this song. I cry myself to sleep every night to this song. The coolest guy I know, making his hipster debut. Let's welcome Ian Chen. Hey everyone, it's good to be here. Hopefully you enjoy this performance. Watching, I learned a lot about being a hipster today. The number one thing I learned today was that hipsters have to be themselves. So Will, thank you for teaching me all that. Ian, it was my pleasure. I think you're so cool, I feel uncool. Follow us online and make sure to subscribe. See you guys later. And Ian, I think we're gonna say goodbye by saying goodbye in the most hipster way possible. By not even saying goodbye. What's up guys? Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Thanks Panda Express for making all this happen. Go to pandaexpress.com for locations near you. Uh, Bye boys! This is him uh, trying to be hipster, but he's I not great that? at it. No, 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 no.